Welcome to another episode of Ecological Niches. A niche is the job that an organism has or performs in their ecosystem. This includes all the interactions with organisms and interactions with their environment, such as how hot it is, what they eat, where they eat, when their mating season is. For example, the bison niche. Well, before human intervention, they used to roam most of the Great Plains in the United States, but are now only found in certain locations, such as Yellowstone National Park. These bison in the park live in the valleys and grasslands of the park. By eating grass, they recycle the nutrients back into the soil while utilizing energy that these grasses have taken from the sun. The new grass now has an easier access to some nutrients. Bison naturally will like some grasses more than others, which will change what grasses grow more. Bison also wallow, which means to roll around and to put dirt into the air and onto them to clean themselves. That also opens up grass areas into dirt to allow small water puddles to fill and give temporary water collection for other organisms, like amphibians or mice or rabbits. Their niche is much more complicated than these few little examples I've given and include other organisms that they infect by their actions, including the diet, mating, herd movements, and more. The bison's niche has been filled, at least partially, with some differences, by cattle that we now use on rangelands. Yes, there are differences in the details of the niche, such as what grasses are preferred by each, or the changes we make to allow more food for cattle, such as removing sagebrush or planting in non-native grasses that cows more readily eat or can more efficiently help them gain weight so that we can harvest them more quickly and get more out of each individual. Another example of a niche is that of the downy woodpecker. Downy woodpeckers, as seen here, are mostly known for pecking into trees to find insects to eat. They also can eat the sap from the trees, seeds that they find, and more. Downy woodpeckers also create holes in trees in which they nest. These holes can be used by other organisms who cannot create holes in trees to nest, such as some species of smaller owls, some bluebirds, some nuthatches, flickers, and other woodpeckers. Downy woodpeckers are a great example of how different organisms can depend on each other and be part of that niche. Niches can overlap, such as the niche of the hummingbirds, some nectar-eating insects, and even bats. If two organisms' niches overlap significantly, then the two organisms are in what we call competition, or competing over the resource. This competition is easily seen by putting a hummingbird feeder up and then watching all the different organisms that come to it. At our feeders here in the western United States, we can see a various species of hummingbirds such as black-chinned and rufous hummingbirds that compete and will actually fight over the feeder as well as insects like yellow jackets, bees, and more. If different species niches overlap greatly, then the competition that they have between each other can lead to eventual extinction of one of the species, meaning the species is gone and doesn't return. This is why different species have different niches over time. Only one species with a specific niche may survive. This is one of the driving forces behind animal adaptations and natural selection. This is why invasive species, or those species who are not naturally found in an ecosystem before they were humanly introduced or brought in, are so destructive and such a concern for ecosystems around the world. Invasive species is a topic for a whole other video, however. In summary, niches are the individual things that each organism does in its ecosystem. How it interacts with other organisms, how it interacts with the environment, aka how well it does with winters, the elevation it lives at, the part of a tree it might get food from, the depth at which it finds stuff to eat in the water, Anything that the organism does specifically in that ecosystem to live its life is part of its niche. Thanks for watching another Ecological Niches video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to get future videos. If you have any ideas, suggestions, or questions, then leave a comment down below. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.